Let's get to it. All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. All right, guys, welcome to your weekly reset guide. Normally, I stream the Challenge of Elders at this time, but I can't. Maybe I'll stream it this week. But always in my streams, you guys like it right at the beginning where I go over all of the weekly reset changes. So I'm going to start doing these every Tuesday if I don't do the stream. So without further ado, let's jump into the weekly reset. All right, lots of good stuff this week, including a farmable weekly heroics as well as farmable crucible. First off, for the nightfall, okay, it is Volus to Arik, okay? We got Ironclad, we got Brawler, so you're gonna get a lot more grenades, throw a lot of grenades when you're in there. You got Arc Burn, so break out those Zao supercells, and you've got Epic, so heavily shielded, highly aggressive enemies appear in greater numbers. Now, the weekly heroics, if you want LDRs, Shadow Prices, Devil You Know, Swarms, it's easy this week. Heroic, arc burn small arms and ironclad this is really easy because small arms you do more damage with your primary your heavy and your snipers not some oh your heavy and your specials not so much but having small arms means your primary is going to do a lot more damage it's arc burn so you want to bring out that zao supercell if you got one and you will meld things okay so definitely uh, i'm going to link in the description there's a video on how to get vanguard packages fast it breaks down the numbers of how much rep you get per strike when you pop one of those uh vanguard rep boosters now, for the weekly, Mayhem Clash is back. Another video, link in the description. You want to farm this all week, okay? This is the fastest way to get Crucible packages. Six to seven minute games, and you probably want to play in your Hunter Gunslinger, even though they nerfed him a little bit. Hunter Gunslinger with the uh, young, no, is it young Ahamkara Spine? Yeah, young Ahamkara Spine with the double trip mines that last longer. That's what you want to do. You want to farm the hell out of that this week. Pop Crucible rep boosts. I'll link that video in the description, too. Breaks down the numbers, okay? You also have Inferno uh, 3v3. Now, Challenge of Elders is also really easy to farm this week if you need either a Ghost Shell 335, Class Item 335, or one of the Year 2 House of Wolves exotics at 335. Because you got small arms, you can go in there and just melt the bosses. You could probably do a full run of farming the bosses in like six minutes. But if you want to complete your Elder Sigil, it's also pretty easy. You got Precision Kill bonus, you got small arms, and you got Berserk. Berserk just means that the enemies can take a lot of damage and won't flinch at all, okay? In terms of your bosses, you've got the Wretched Knight. You've got the Seditious Mind, and you also have Kexus the Betrayed. All right, then lastly, for the raid, you've got Oryx Challenge Mode, okay? This is by far the best week to do it, because I feel, in my opinion, the other challenge modes, not too much loot. Oryx, it, he just rains loot, especially when it's challenge mode. So make sure you've, you've stockpiled your moldering shards and bring them all and uh, swap characters. We normally will do the raid once full through when it's Oryx Challenge Mode, and then just swap characters to do it three, um, and kill Oryx three times on challenge mode. So that's it. Let me know if you guys want me to keep doing these every Tuesday if I don't stream the Challenge of Elders. So anyway, that's it, guys. Drop a like on this video only if you see Fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mace Check out my stream usually on YouTube. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.